Well, you may have been to a comic convention. You may have been to a car show. You can combine your two loves into one at the first annual Car Con, which is coming to Tucson. Yes, and Eric Briggs and Gilbert Ibarra are here to tell us about this great event. Guys, it's so good to have you here. Thanks Thank for you. Me. We appreciate it. So how did this all get started? I mean, it's such a great combination of car love and comic love. So where did it get its start? Well, we, I've actually been doing car shows for quite some time. And there was an opportunity that uh, I met Eric Briggs uh, about a year ago. He also shares the same passion and enthusiasm for automobiles. And we kept talking about, why don't we bring the, a really nice show to Tucson? Why don't we try to do something? And we kind of hash it out, and we thought about, why don't we do something that involves cars and comic books? I mean, it's such a nice combination between both. And it took off from there, and we called it CarCon. And Genius. I love it. Thank well, you. we actually Thanks. have some video of some cars that we actually have in our parking lot right now. These are cars that are going to be featured at the show. So what are we seeing here? Right here, this is actually my personal vehicle. It's a 2013 Ford Mustang, custom wrapped in Star Wars. This one's actually a Knight Rider from the television, is Kit from Knight Rider. Oh, cool. Ashley yes. Talks. Wow. Yes. We have one of our other uh, members, Anthony Bowen, with his 2007 Mustang California Special. It's also on the screen there as well. Wow. That's pretty cool. Making a rainy day look just a little bright. <laughs> That's true. Well, this is cool because I've, you know, I've never been to a Comic-Con, but I have been to several car shows. So maybe kind of talk about what people can expect, that this is going to be totally different than any car show they've been to. Correct. Uh, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create something that's called an experience, you know, where the family comes in and you can experience all different types of things to take a look at. You know, whether you want to have the children, they're going to be a part of a Jedi Academy that we're going to have at the show. So they can learn from, actually, it's going to be a Jedi Master we'll have on site wow. to give kids training. So we'll have some classes there. We'll have a green screen to give you an experience to put you in the various movie scenes. Uh, including with the 501st Legion, which they are the world's largest uh, fan base group of Star Wars. Wow. They're worldwide, and they're going to be at our show there. And is it true that's, that these cars actually had to be licensed by Disney in order for you to actually... That is correct. They're both licensed yeah. by Disney and Lucasfilm, uh, so we have to obtain permission to do that and have them wrapped. In fact, uh, we work closely with uh, Innovative Science to help us with the process of getting the vehicles wrapped. Wow. And, and, I mean, there's another example of another Star Wars car. And Eric, is it too late for someone to enter their own custom car into the show? No. As a matter of fact, uh, we were discussing that even a few minutes ago because we were compressed for time. We start loading the cars on Friday into the building, the inside cars. The outside cars, obviously, there's, there's plenty of time for that. But uh, within the next day or so, we're going to be shutting down the registration, especially inside. And we're going to encourage people to get everything registered as soon as possible. So hurry. Yeah, well, we have a ticket. We actually have a ticket contest oh. for any registrations having to do with cars, or if a person just wants to purchase a ticket for one or both days. So if they go to our Facebook page, they can join that contest. It's gone through midnight tonight. So. So get on it today. That's right. Call mm, that's your right. friends who might be interested because this this is really kind of a huge deal for Tucson. I think it's so cool. Anytime we have something cool like this for the whole family. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan. So because we did have to get these special permissions and stuff, gentlemen, what do, what do you tell people about maybe bringing their cameras? Is this something that's allowed? Are they allowed to take pictures with these cars? Yes, most definitely. They are allowed to bring their cameras. In fact, we'll even have photographers on site if you'd like to have a, like a special studio type shot with a particular vehicle or maybe with some of the characters. I mean, it's not just Star Wars characters. We have a lot of comic book characters who will be out there on the show as well. And so is this sort of the event that you kind of want to continue on and on and on? I mean, are you looking to make this Absolutely. an annual event? Yes. Every year. Mm -hmm. Every year we like to make this an annual event. And uh, again, something that we want it to be that's that completely family oriented. So every age group can have something to you know, entertain themselves and enjoy it. Awesome. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing that this is a perfect time to take the kids, yep. get your like Christmas card photo, you know, mm -hmm. in front of these cool cards with these <laughs> cool characters. Wait, yeah. Yeah. So tell us about admission. Is there a cost to, uh, to come? Are there any discounts for anybody? Mm -hmm. uh, there is admission. If they want to purchase their tickets right now, they can go through our Facebook page, you know, at facebook.com forward slash Tucson CarCon. And the tickets for pre-admission, if you want to go for two-day pass, it's $15. Uh, if you want to do a one-day pass, it's $10. Now, for all our military and first responders, you have a discount. One days are $8, and for two-day passes are $12. Oh, man. Cool. And you know what? This, this event could not have come at a better time. I mean, Star Wars is going to be huge this year right? in a few months. And obviously, that means that you guys are Star Wars fans, right? Absolutely. Are Absolutely. You excited? Absolutely. Are you excited for that movie, or what do you think that's oh, going to be like? Very excited for it. I always want to make sure I capture every trailer that comes out. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a geek at heart. So. <laughs> well, Me too. That, that's Me too. a good point. This is yeah. kind of a yeah, way to get kind of psyched for the movie. But I want to know, gentlemen, from both of you, what are you most excited about for this car con? 
Well, I'll, I'll tell you, when Gilbert and I were talking, and we spoke, spoke about like a green screen experience, because we wanted to make an experience, an immersive experience for people. So I said, I want to be a part of the scene where Vader's choking out the guy in the first movie. Yes. <laughs> He's nice. holding him up in the air. I said, why don't we recreate that scene? Of course, making it safe. Right. <laughs> and so that's when we talked about the green screen special effects, and it yeah. kind of took off from there. So I love it. I'm so waiting cool. for that one. You know what? Tucson needed something like this. Mm -hmm. It's like unbelievable that you guys are bringing this to Tucson. I love it. Well, thank you. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. We appreciate and we appreciate you coming on the show to share us, you know, all the details for the event. And we're going to look forward to this being an annual event, guys. Absolutely. So I want to thank you again. We're going to make sure our viewers have all of the information for this Excellent. awesome car thank con. You. Thanks for doing that. That's great. And again, the Tucson Car Con will take place at the Tucson Expo Center on the 26th and 27th of this month at the times you see right now on your screen. For more details, you can call 834-8037 or visit Facebook. Facebook.com slash Tucson Carcon.